Lord of God, you would have reasons to give thanks to God. You would have reasons to celebrate the King of glory because of the victories, yes. Because of the wonderful things that he is said to do. Dear child of God, you will begin to receive your inheritances, your blessings, the things that are rightfully yours, that was denied you for a long time. You will get each and every one of them. And this is how God will set to you. This is how God will make your joy full. God will turn you out of darkness and bring you into your place of light. God will cause you to celebrate and will bring the powers of the devil down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, I want you to know that everything that makes you a partaker of God's inheritance, they shall be made available unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. It was said that you are co-heirs with Christ and everything Christ has received, yes, you have the right to also get them. I want to assure you, dear child of God, everything that you have been praying for, everything that you have been waiting for, you will receive them and you would have reasons to give thanks. You would have reasons to celebrate. You would have reasons to appreciate the King of glory because God made them available to you. In Colossians 1 verse 12, the word of God says, giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Dear child of God, there is an inheritance for you. There is something with your name written on them. Yes, those things are for you and you would get them. They were denied you for a long time, but you begin to get them. Your man you will get, your woman you will get, dear child of God, your home you will get. The blessings of God you will get, the blessings that had no sorrow to eat. Dear child of God, you will get, you will get the peace of mind, yes. That rest and joy that God had promised you in the mighty name of Jesus. And these things will cause you to celebrate. Dear child of God, these things would cause you to give thanks. These things would cause you to honor God. These things would cause you to praise the King of glory. Because the days of struggle, the days of pain, the days of affliction, the days you were burdened, dear child of God, they would be gone from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The days that you wondered, how would my life become? What would be the outcome of my life? Dear child of God, those days will be gone from your life because every passing day of your life, God will be revealing to you the wonderful things that you should be expecting, letting you know that your blessings would not be denied you anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have waited at a point for a long time. And it seems as though you were not experiencing progress in your life. Dear child of God, you would have reasons to give thanks. Because God will bring you to that position of celebration. You would rejoice all the days of your life. And you would be able to say, God has done me well. God has been good unto me. And blessed my life. Yes, I blessed everything. And blessed everything that concerns me. And blessed everything that concerns my family you see the word of god in act 26 verse 18 says to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of darkness unto god you see the moment god begins to open your eyes and turns you away from the powers of darkness and makes sure that the things that kept you down are no longer keeping you down dear child of god i want you to know that from that moment on you begin to receive access to get everything that are yours and you will get that access. Everything that are yours will begin to come to you. And this is how you will discover the devil had been defeated. In the mighty name of Jesus, God would enlighten you. Yes, he would open the eyes of your understanding. And you will be able to know the hope of your calling. Dear child of God, you will know the riches, my God. You will know the riches. What is in the riches of the glory of the inheritances of the saints. Yes, everything that are supposed to be yours. God would open your eyes to see them. You will know where your spouse is right now, dear child of God. God would open your eyes. You would go to that location and this is how you will be settled. What are the prophetic words that you have received? Yes, some of them may seem as though you had forgotten them because it looks like God was not going to attend to you. Dear child of God, you will begin to see them come to your knowledge. Yes, every of the prophetic word. And this is how you will receive the fullness of your inheritance. It says that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Dear child of God, God would open you to great ideas. You will see ideas that will bring you to your blessing. And these things 
will cause you to give thanks. These things will cause you to rejoice. These things will cause you to celebrate. The things that are yours will be coming. Your inheritances, it is your right. It is your right to get them. And you must get them in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that heaven had willed with your name on them, dear child of God, on the face of the earth, you would bask in them. You will get each and every one of them. And then you will be able to say like Peter said in 1 Peter 2 verse 3, Blessed be the God, the God of our Father Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance, as said in verse 4, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that faded not away reserved in heaven he said reserved for us your blessings are reserved and you will get them god would make sure you get everything that are yours and this is how you would bless the name of god this is how you bless the king of glory he says who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Dear child of God, these things has been kept for you and you will get them. God kept your blessings and no one would steal them from you. No one would take them from you. They are yours. They are your inheritance and they have your name written upon them. So worry no more because God is going to say to you, God is going to make sure you are a partaker of his blessings. This is for we are made partakers of Christ. In Hebrews 3 verse 14, If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end, hope in God, you will get your blessings. Whatever they are, hope in him, he would say to you. You may be denied that promotion for a long time, yes, but don't worry. You would get everything, every single thing. You may have been delayed, but do not worry. The delays are not denials. You will get what are yours. Every single thing. And this is how God will set to you and make your life beautiful. He says, and if children then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, then we ought to be glorified with him. Dear child of God, the Lord has seen your suffering. He knows everything you have been through. He knows that you have been through a lot. And now he's saying to you, you shall be glorified. You will see the glory of God coming upon you. You will be clothed with the glory of God. You will see the splendor of God. And this will cause you to rejoice. This is the blessing coming to you. You are a partaker of the inheritance in Christ Jesus. And you will get everything, every single thing that has your name written upon them. It says that we should be the praise of his glory who first trusted us in Christ. Ephesians 1 verse 12. Dear child of God, the blessings would be overflowing. Dear child of God, the blessings would increase with you every day. And you would be able to say, I have obtained an inheritance. I have obtained an inheritance. I've obtained my blessing. I've been predestinated according to the purpose of God who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Dear child of God, it was his choice to do it. And then he said in Ephesians 1 verse 11, out of the counsel of his own will. Yes, what God had counseled himself about that you are going to receive, you will get them. And your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember he said, I will choose to have mercy upon the one I want to have mercy. And I would have compassion upon the one I've chosen. Dear child of God, it is a time that you would have these things in full because God had chosen you to get them. And these would cause you to celebrate. These would cause you to dance. These would cause you to say what manner of love had the Father bestowed upon us. You say what manner of love. Yes, I do not deserve it, but what manner of love. That I may be called the sons of God. What manner of love. That I may receive these blessings. That I may be a partaker with Christ. What manner of love. No wonder David said, Oh, is man that you are mindful, yes. At that point, he looked at himself and was wondering, how would God hold him in so much esteem and bless him so much? He was humbled. He was humbled and he was wondering why God would do such a wonderful thing in his life. This is how you are going to wonder, dear child of God. You would wonder and say, how did God choose me to do these things? You would look around you and say, 
Why was I the one picked to get this blessing? And then God will tell you, you just entered into your time of favor and you have become a partaker of the blessings that are in Christ Jesus. You would rejoice all the days of your life. You would have reasons to dance. You would have reasons to be excited because the glory of God, yes, the blessings, the splendor of God has appeared to you and to your family. And no more would you suffer. No more would you be in pain. No more would you sorrow because Christ is changing your story and giving you life in Jesus' mighty name. I congratulate you because I know it is done, it is settled, and it will be well with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. Shalom.